Welcome back to Disco Elysium, where Superstar is out here outside the Whirling. We're gonna we're gonna see what this stuff is here today. We're supposed to meet Kuno at the Oops, hey, okay, yeah, just trot around. We're gonna meet Kuno at the island. We first, have, of course, have to figure out how to get there. But my intent today is to wander around and try to talk to everybody else because obviously anybody who has anything left to say is not gonna be able to say it once we go to the island, which is presumably kind of the point of absolutely no return. So let's see what this says here. Bonjour, oh yeah, I'm not even gonna to try to say the French because once again, American. The graffito has been painted over the traces of the fight that took place here. It smells of blood and heavy fuel oil. Oh, I wonder if Cindy did it. This was Cindy the oh. Skull. <laughs> I guess so. Looks like Cindy the Skull finally found the words for her masterpiece. The red dyed fuel oil glistens. This was painted very recently. I've always wondered since she uses the heavy fuel oil, whether the whole thing could be set on fire. I smell heavy fuel oil. And blood. Some of it may even be yours. Looks like a giant mop was used to turn it into lettering. Yeah, so this is a reason why we might go look for Cindy. Maybe she will finally give us a paintbrush and we can do the art wall. Somehow I doubt it though. Heavy fuel oil. Isn't that flammable? Oh, here we go. Wow, it's like the game is reading my mind. All right, let's set the graffito on fire with a lit cigarette. The fuel oil catches fire immediately oh, with a bad hiss. Ass. A bright orange flash across the surface of the letters. Black smoke rises from the burning message. I, I have to believe that the Superstar is so close, his eyebrows must be getting singed off. I think in honor of the game itself, we are going to scream, Disco Elysium! The flames warm your face. Then, a gust of cold wind and the fire falters. It's time to go to the island. Yes, thank you, Shivers. Slowly, the flames subside. The fuel burning out. The air still smells of mazout and springtime. Very, very cool. Wow, what a great way to start the episode. Okay, let's, since Gaston's right here, let's talk to him. And then, like I said, I'm going to run around. I may end up doing a lot of cutting if there's just really nothing that comes of it. Mon Dieu, you set it on fire. What kind of a policeman are you? Maybe he's embracing his inner uh, drama queen? Let's say it. Firewalker, I walk in the flames. I, um... That's nice. Uh, better somehow. Can I help in any way? Nope. Bye for now. We did get... That was a secret task. So now we are back up to seven points. I do wonder if we should spend something. Let's see what our... Uh, what task we have open. So let's just go to the island. Oh, we can add more beauty to the wall. We still haven't found the, the final armor piece. I do wonder if maybe there's a thought associated with the armor. So I wonder if that's how you would do it. We've only ever found one figurine and she didn't want it. Klaji is gone, or Klajia, and we're still working on determining where the shot came from. We have to go to the island to do it. So I don't really see much point in throwing in any points yet. So, and we can't run because of our leg. Let's, let's talk to Tommy. My man, you're alive. Almost, kind of, sort of alive. Alive and limping, Tommy. Man, what a day. I missed out on most of the action, but I heard it was quite the encounter. Had a strong sense of finality to it. It sure did. Once again, foreshadowing the end. So what's next? You heading back to Jamrock now? Talkers local union muscle were behind it all. I'd reckon the case is closed. Even if it kind of turned into a shit show. I'm still looking around. Loose threads to tie up. We're not going to tell him anything about the case. Good luck with that, my man. Ain't easy being you. But hey, you're still breathing, right? I sure am, Tommy. So I met the lady driver, by the way, on my investigation. Her name was Ruby. Okay. He seems a little apprehensive. Is it wise to share information about the case like this, sire? Well, I haven't yet. I'm just saying I met her. Telling him is a really bad idea. Uh, I'll, I'll go with that on suggestion. Plus, I wasn't going to tell him much about the case. Yeah, that's it. I can't share anymore. Just letting you know. That's probably for the best. You keep your job to yourself. With a job like yours, you have to. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Tommy. See you around. Maybe. Okay, let's see. There's nothing on tab. Oh, he just turned. Maybe he always does that and I'm just noticing now. Yeah, I don't... Wow, look how slowly we're walking. That's kind of annoying. 
Okay, I'm not going to read the sign again. We know everything we want to know about Philippe. Let's see if that... Oh, let, yeah, let's see if there's anything in Ruby's cabin here. This found A to Z, abandoned by its owner, still stands in the shadow of the ruins above it. You know, I guess since Tommy's sitting there, the traffic jam is still going on, so maybe the drawbridge isn't down. Let's open the door. The smell of cigarettes and perfume welcomes you. The cabin inside is plastered with old movie posters. Actresses smile from the walls. There's a radio transmitter in the front and a toolbox tucked under the driver's seat. Some tools lie scattered near the pedals. There's something odd about the passenger seat. The seating fabric has been pulled tight over the lower side of the seat where the toolbox should be. Let's peel off the cover on the passenger seat. Voila, a stack of neatly folded papers has been stashed behind the seating fabric. You see three maps depicting a large metropolitan area. It's Revachon. Some of its routes and highways have been outlined with a pen. That's weird. Let's unfold the topmost map. This large map displays the elevated motorway called 881. The intake leading to Martinez is marked with a blue X. There's another X on the off-ramp at a place called the Old South. We had a thought around this. It was something to do with the pail, I believe. Toll booths at the intakes are marked with a circle. It looks like there are scant few ways of getting onto the elevated motorway that runs over Jamrock. And this person knows them all. There, hundreds of thousands of motor carriages roar on the 881, high above the mess of brown and red roofs that is Jamrock. The commuters don't even look down. The world ceases to exist outside the windshield. And where does the road lead? To Kuron through the middle-income neighborhoods there, by the river, and then to Stella Maris and La Delta for work, while the men and women of Jamrock scuttle to their fates below the road. All right, let's take a look at the second map. This municipal map from the 30s displays a complex system of storm sewers underneath a sub-district called the Pox, old military hospital right adjacent to the 41st precinct. No storm will ever drown Revachol, the great solution to the riddle of history. Wow, that's really neat. Wind, wind rips through the empty hallways of the once great military hospital, now just a ruin under an overgrown park. Beneath the hospital, great sewer tunnels hum and vibrate with life of their own. What is that sound? The rattle of motor carriages and lorries driving through long forgotten tunnels, lit by gaslights. Oh, that's neat. So are these the, the what used to be the sewer tunnels? That's cool. There's a whole life under there, I guess. Let's look at the third map. The final map displays a labyrinth of service tunnels left over from the construction of motorway 881. A few routes have been marked with a pen where the tunnels and sewers surface near the eminent domain and a traffic island in central Jamrock by the lake. Looks like the smugglers have infiltrated the road network belonging to East Motor Tract. So let's say that. The cluttered cabin of the abandoned lorry offers no reply. <laughs> well, why would the lorry talk? If only Lieutenant Kitsuragi were here to help you piece oh. together the evidence. Wow. So we probably could have done this much earlier, but now Kim is in the hospital. Ah, oh, so it's basically saying, screw you, this quest is closed. Sorry, buddy. Try again next playthrough. Return the stack of papers to the seat. You stuff the maps back under the seat cover. Better not to leave traces of you being here yet. The movie stars look silently by. You close the rusty old lorry door. Yeah, we clearly could have done that earlier. That's okay. Not gonna get. This is not the sort of game where you can ever get a single completionist run through. Okay, the the old lady's gone from there. Looks like oh, the trailer is gone. No, no, no. Sorry. I, I, hey, look at all the posters. Look at all the posters on on Philippe. That's cool. Do we want to look in here? A lorry stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grad-made machine is well kept for such an old machine. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. Were they 
Were the windows cleaned before? I don't recall that. Fumes of heavy fuel oil waft over you, making your eyes sting. The odor mixes with cigarette residue. Okay, I'm going to assume there's nothing new here. Well, let's find out. Let's find out. The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep. Large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. A book with ragged edges catches your notice. The front cover features a large, muscular man. The title reads, Man from Eelmdal in the Lost City of the Pygmies. Okay, so no, nothing new here. Okay. So we're going to go over here to the harbor, although uh, it's supposedly locked down. But let's see if there's anything to look at. Well, Manyan is up there. Nothing's coming up on tab. Yeah, okay, let's go. And look, the, the big red banners of the Union are up here. Let's go talk to Manana. Yeah, red banner here. The boy Adero stares at you with respect, then gestures towards the trickles of blood adorning your clothes. It really hurts, Manana. Pain. That's what your strike brought upon us. Any political movement goes through a period of strife. Shame you got mixed up in it, though. Yet it calls back to an older era where this was commonplace. You have a true boyadero heart. Oh, do I? All right, so where is everyone? Hiding, gathering themselves. The harbor's in full lockdown, friend. No getting in or out for the time being. So you can't help me get inside, Manana? On the sly, maybe? No, man. Not today. Today is war. Oh, this might be the last day we have. He says it matter-of-factly, like it's no big deal. What's going to happen next, Manana? Time will tell. I'll tell Evrak you drop by. I'm sure he'll be glad. And um, what will you be doing now? I'll be okay here, doing lookout. Quite the sight, aren't they? Getting to like that red I am. He's talking about the red flag straight from the harbor gates. Don't worry about me. I live to alleviate the worries of our brothers. See if any insane killers turn up. Then I'll run. And live. I'm sure you'll do just fine. You know it, friend. Good talking to you, Manana, but I gotta run. Although, I only mean that figuratively, because we're gonna slow amble our way up here to see... Can we get through this door? Nope, this door is locked. Yep. Let's see if Measurehead is here. There's a weird thumping. I wonder if that's the cranes moving around in the harbor. Oh, Measurehead's not here. Oh, interesting. Okay, Measurehead's gone, but I don't think there's anything we can do here. Nothing showing up on tab. Yeah, so unsurprisingly, we are completely locked out. Nothing to see. And we can't do anything with this. So let's move on. I guess Kuno's obviously not going to be here. Or maybe he's not going to be here. And then Kuno S should be gone. He's avoiding her. And the trash is still here. Oh, let's look in the dumpster. I, you know, I never looked in the dumpster after that first time. The trash container stands in the spring snow. Let's open the lid. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Let's look under the boxes. You see milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Nothing of note, however. All right, I think this is a dead end. Let's close the lid. The container sounds a muffled gong. And let's leave. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I've closed every loose end, or I guess tied up, if we want to continue that metaphor. Tied up every loose end. Let's go look in Kuno's shack. Oh, a thought. The sound of melting snow dripping off the roof. It's strange. Okay, the shack is still open. There's nothing new here. There's the pig's head. Oh, look, fallen sneakers. Maybe those are the one. Maybe that's an ad for the ones we're wearing. Yeah, I'm not gonna go up on the roof because we can't get to the harbor. So I, that's just not a good use of any anybody's time. Let's go here, and I guess we're gonna. Should I check Neha? You know what? Let's go talk to her. I've talked to her like every other time, so I might as well. That's definitely a, a piece I might cut. I keep threatening that. I suppose if you're hearing me say it, oops, what was that? If you're hearing me say it, then I didn't cut it, did I? <laughs> All right, I don't think we need to walk around with our gun. So let's let's put the ha uh, the hammer, I almost said hammer. Let's put the 
There's a flashlight in its place. I got so used to running that it is annoying to do this walking. Oh, it's you again. Are you looking for a die? Can I order another one? I'm sorry. I'm a bit overloaded just now, so I can only produce one die per customer. All right, she doesn't have anything. You know, I, I ascribed to Neha much more importance throughout this playthrough than she actually had. You know, she was she was an information source, but she, you know, at points I thought she was the third mercenary. That was LePage or LePaul. Um, I thought maybe she was a liar. I thought she was the source of the curse. But no, she's just what she appears to be, a dice maker. Where is... Oh, is this closed off? No, I'm screwing this up. Why can't I get through this door? Oh, oh, because I'm being ridiculous, that's why. Okay, we're gonna walk through the gym. And ignore all that stuff. This is the site of our triumph, lifting that weight. That was super studly. Here we are again, of course. Okay, let's see what Placence has to say. Still standing there, looking all uptight. Oh my god! Things have gotten out of hand! I thought the psychic stuff was bad, but the crime! It's even worse! I haven't been able to come to work for three days! The shop has been locked! No sales, gangbangers running around, shooting everyone! I know I shouldn't have bought a shop in this ghetto! I'll tell you what, number one, I doubt there were any gangbangers. Number two, you have nothing left to sell, I bought everything. And number three, I'm the one who got shot. Oh my god! Even the police can't take care of all of this. Just look at that limp. Someone should do something about this. Maybe I should close the bookstore and open a psychic studio. Yes! It makes sense. Crime is the sixth element, you see. The darkest element. I feel like this is a woman who like goes home and watches old like X-Files reruns. I could teach people to protect themselves against bad energies and to fight crime. Okay, we're just going to nod at her and, and, you know, just play it out here. Sounds like a plan, Placence. Life must go on after all. Exactly. It's a brilliant idea. Thank you, officer. I'm going to start drawing up business plans right away. All right, you go ahead and do that, Placence. In the meantime, do buy the books. As many as you can. They won't be here for much longer. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, like I said, we bought everything. Farewell for now, book peddler. And we'll quickly talk to her daughter. Hello again, sir. Oh my gosh, check this out. Annette, help! My Dick Mullen book ripped before I could get to the end. Do you know what happens? Which book was it, sir? Dick Mullen and the Mistaken Identity. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I haven't read that one yet. Oh, I wish damn. I could help you. Damn. I thought we were going to find out. Well, that'll just be left for the sequel that's never going to come out. Okay, see you later, Annette. Oh, I thought. Give up. You'll never find the answer. There's no other copy of Dick Mullen and the Mistaken Identity here. But why? Because that's how the world works. Some stories never get finished. You shouldn't expect there to be a tidy, satisfying ending. Uh, is that foreshadowing for the game? But, but, what if you never find out how your story ends? That would be shitty. Uh, I assume we are going to find out on the island. There's got to be a way to solve this. There isn't. If only you had more time, more resources. Who knows what you could have come up with. Maybe if there had been more money and less speed. I don't think we use that much speed. Or more speed. Yeah, electrochemistry, more speed. Or that, yes. <laughs> Either way, you might have been able to come up with an answer, but not like this. Electrochemistry finally won logic over. Hang on, you can do this. Use your imagination. You know who the suspects are. Just make it up. Like we're shining the flashlight right in her eyes. So... Who killed Charlie Spillane and Deanna Denuva, detective? Just fucking pick one. <laughs> Who should we pick? You know what? Fuck you, book. It was Dick Mullen. It still doesn't make sense. But who cares? Yes, Dick Mullen, the famous detective, killed his best friend and the dame he just nailed in cold blood. 
But why'd he do it? Unclear. I don't think Superstar cares, really. Doesn't matter. The choice has been made. You caught the criminal. It was Dick Mullen all along. Who's the real detective now? That's right. It's you. Rest easy tonight, real detective. <laughs> this, <laughs> this has the air of like, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, you're a good boy. Talking to the talking to a dog. <laughs> Let's take the flashlight out of our hands so we can stop blinding people. Let's move the Parolodon there in case we need it. And let's walk over here. And maybe we can actually find Cindy. Okay, let's see if she's up here. Oh, she's not here. Oh. Oh, there's an orb over here, though. Way over here on the right. See that? Uh, whoa. Should we go up there? Let's go up there. Oh, I... I don't know why, but I expected her to be here. Let's see if the washerwoman... I mean, not the washerwoman, the cleaning lady... Give has me anything a moment. To say. Nope, I'm off. Not giving you a moment. Let's go up on the balcony. I think this is another dead... Oh, what's that? Wait a minute. What? Can we get in here? Is this open? Oh, maybe she's inside her pad here. All right, first let's check at the top of the stairs. Oh, we had a thought. Okay, nothing on tab here, so it looks like we're out of luck. But we did get in here. That, that surprises me a little. Okay, whoops. Okay, can that thought come back? There it is. Above, tarps flap in the wind. Forgotten hammers and nails rust. Okay, let's check. Let's check in here into her hangout. Oh, she's not in here and also nothing on tab. Well, we may have closed the door on Cindy here. Let's go back down. We're going to go try that yellow orb. And I guess we can go out. You know what? We'll go out the front because I think that's going to be how we get to that orb anyways. Wait, was this torn up? I thought, I thought this was cleaned up. No, nothing in there. There's the uh, Kraz Mazov bust over there. Okay, we can't... Oh. Can we get into Kuno's dad's apartment? Or I guess it's Kuno's apartment. But let's see. I clicked on it, so we're walking over there, taking our sweet time. Oh, we can. Oh, and there's another orb here. Kuno de Ruter is the name on the unfinished homework. Oh, that's how you spell Kuno. It's from two years ago. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't think we're going to wake his dad. We, we don't really care about his dad at all. We only care about... Uh, we only care about the uh, about Kuno's well-being. So we're not going to worry about it. There was... Oh, there was the yellow thing over there. Am I going to walk all the way over there? You know what? My completionist soul... No, I'm not. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Let's go here. And that orb... Yes. Can we get to it from here? The curtain shift just a little. Someone is watching from within. Oh. Hmm. It looks like it's broken down. Wait, we can zoom out more. It is broken. Could that be Cindy? Can we get up there? We're going to walk past the art wall, hoping that Cindy is just waiting there with a paintbrush, which of course she won't be. So interesting stuff over here, but nothing you know, groundbreaking or earth shattering. So I believe that's kind of everything before we head over to the fishing village. Oh, we could go talk to Roy. And I wonder if, uh, what's his name? Selang. I wonder if Selang is still there. And we still do, I still wanted to check out Delta Logistics, but I, I think it's closed. I think we missed that opportunity as well. You know what? For old time's sake, we're going to do some Parolodon. Just like that. Psyche up. This way, anybody we talk to, we're going to heal. This way, anybody we talk to will have more empathy and understanding. Why not? Oh, I thought. There we go. It already pays off. Maybe a sea monster did this to the plaza. I, I don't, I don't think so. That was, I don't know that, 
I don't know that that one orb was worth the Pyrolodon price of admission, but but I guess we'll take what we can get. Okay, Silang, so so are you still over here? You are. Wow! Wow what? A cop limping down the street, bleeding from the shoulder, face bruised, looking like hell? You know what that is? What is it, Salang? Cool. That's cool. <laughs> of course it is. That's awesome. Okay, I'll leave you to it. In your absolute coolness. <laughs> that was funny. Everything is good here, he says. Yeah, this is a this is a dead end for us. Let's go talk to Roy. I don't know if we can fast travel from here. I'll check. I don't know if we ever could fast travel or if we had to be uh, from this area or if we had to be outside the whirling. Nothing on tab but Roy's door. And the drawbridge is still up, which makes sense because the lorries are still there. Oh, what's this? Was this always yellow? Wow. A very large red t-shirt with an impressive print stands out from the other garb. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. The print depicts a muscled man striding toward you. A giant sword in each hand, encircled no by burning way. embers. Behind him is a cluster of cabins engulfed in flames. Beneath him are the words, Hyeondal burning. Oh my gosh, let's sniff the shirt. Smells like worn cotton and a little old sweat there. Worn cotton with a side of flea market or trash bin. All right, well, flea market. Let's go flea market. Sniffing is okay, but please don't try anything on. Can't have you leaving your photon emissions in the fabric of things you're not going to buy. I, I think that's reasonable. I, I wouldn't want photon emissions on something I buy either. You're not imagining it. Photon emissions? What is he talking about? Oh, chill out, Inland Empire. I know what he's talking about. That's a rad man from him doll t-shirt you've got there. Hell yeah, man. I don't usually carry printed tees, but this one was just pure exemplar. Oh, you must be a serious man from him doll fan. A fan? No, I wouldn't go that far. But I do think the Hyam Dalaman saga is an integral part of our shared reality. Well, at least this reality. Most people don't think that the man from Hyeomdal really existed, but they're wrong. What the hell are you talking about, Roy? I mean, even if the man from Hyeomdal didn't exist before the adventure novels, the stories have made it so that he has. It's simple, really. Uh-huh. Say more? It's simply a matter of recognizing that cause and effect work in both directions. You know, this would be a very different game if we got some of the drugs that Roy is always on. Besides, I've been to Kotla, though not quite as far north as the Hjelmdal, and watched northern lights travel across the sky. Very unique energetic tides there. His theory isn't exactly incoherent. But its logic does suggest some unusual neural activity. Interesting. Yeah, like he's gone to Burning Man. Very, very unique energies, indeed. Geomagnetic ley lines, one might even say. One might say that, okay. Well, how much are you selling this t-shirt for, Roy? Two real. We happen to have two real. That's very cheap for a printed t-shirt that's still in pretty good shape. That's unusually cheap, isn't it, Roy? It should belong to anyone who is ready to wear it. Well, then couldn't you just give it to me for free, then? But why? Obviously, we have to say, the man from Hyamdal is a superstar. I'm a superstar. It would be perfect. I suppose that makes sense, yes. Please go ahead and take it. Welcome to Hyamdal. Uh, I am surprised that worked, but very pleasantly surprised. We'll check that shirt out in a minute. Let's see. There was some, I think this was 750 real Typical for this lamp. Martinez street light 700. sits among assorted floor and table lamps. I wonder if there's an actual way to get 700 real or if this is just here to be silly. There's nothing else I need to, you need to know about the light. And is there anything up here we care about? All the old boom boxes are there, blinking and waiting to whirl. All but one, yours. 
Okay, before uh, we're gonna talk to Roy, but before we do, let's look at the shirt because maybe we should put it on. And oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, there it is. You can actually see the picture. He's got the Zwehanders. Plus one physical instrument, plus one shivers, and plus and minus two authority. Wait a second. Wait a second. More shivers? Okay. Yes. More shivers, less volition. More shivers, but now we also get our, our point of empathy back. That is hella worth it. Let's read this. T-shirt, man from Yumdal. Plus one physical instrument, inspiring musculature. Plus one shivers, sprawling saga. Minus two authority. Too old for this shirt. That's the truth. The man from Hyamdal is standing in front of a burning village, dual wielding his ever-present Zwehanders. His muscles look ready to burst out of the two-dimensional print and into your three-dimensional life. What a great description. I love it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's take off our jacket. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at it. How's it look on the back? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we just look chub here. But, oh my gosh, awesome. All right, let's put our jacket back on. All right, we're out of here. Let's talk to Roy. Between you and me, this is why I don't get involved in local politics. You're calling this politics? In its purest form. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I want to buy some of what he's on, but that's not a choice. So I have other business to take care of. See you, Roy. Let's head out and head over to the fishing village. I still think we should, let me see if I can, it'll be, because we're walking so slowly, it'll be faster to fast travel if I can do it. No, I can't. So, hanged man, why is that showing up? All right, whatever. Let's get out of here and we're gonna walk over there. It might actually be faster to walk over to the Whirling and fast travel, but, but maybe not. I don't know, so we'll just walk. Is the washerwoman still here? She is, all right, let's talk to her. Can we still get in here? We can. Okay. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? I was shot. I, even I can see that. I told you not to bring your trouble with you, policeman. We've got troubles of our own here. This wasn't my trouble I brought. That's kind of rude. Though I suppose you took the worst of it. Turns out you were your own ill omen. <laughs> Great. That's super funny. You know, Kim got shot too. He's still in the hospital. What do you expect? Police officers get put into dangerous situations all the time. Sometimes they get shot. It's a rough trade you're in. Uh, that's true. Still, I'm sorry to hear about your partner. He seemed to be a decent enough sort. So these two are very funny. The guy was cramping my style. Every superstar goes solo in the end. And he was a prig who wouldn't dance with me. But instead we're going to say, for real, I'm sorry I couldn't warn him in time. I warn you. I warn you men with guns will be coming after you. They always are with your kind. She says as her features soften. So, be careful. And don't be a hero. Well, a hero's the only thing we can be. Talk to you later. Let's see what Lillianne has to say. And Joyce is gone, right? Yeah, Joyce is gone. She sailed off. Officer, what happened? You're limping. Why are you limping? You look terrible. How could you not have heard? You're not limping. You're you. I got shot in the foot. It was pretty badass. You would have liked it. I see also we can ask her about her boat. Is this from the shooting in town? We heard gunshots. Not that we don't hear gunshots all the time, but they were closer than usual. You didn't only get shot. You should see the other guys. Two dead, one in the hospital? No, he's because he, he's trying to still... Maybe he still wants to go on a date with her. Let's say, I dodged the second shot. I can also get not shot. Well, good for you. You should see the other guys. Two dead, one in the hospital. So you're a killer. That's good, I guess. I guess. Better than being dead. I, I'm not a killer, I'm a cop. I... I guess you are. I understand that's how it goes. This reminds me, we should check after we're done talking to her, we'll check our kill count. I guess it's gone up by two? I have a question for you. Of course. Can I help you with something? Ugh, I really want to try this. Should I put a point in here? Yeah, I think our chances were crap, but... All right, I need to get to that island. That won't be a problem. It's wind still and the tar just dried. 
We've got two days of relative sunshine ahead. What's on the island? I saw some kind of ruins through the binoculars. Hmm. Used to be some kind of fortification there before the war. For the communards. An anti-aircraft gun, I think. Bombed to bits in the landing. I haven't been there myself. Always steered clear of it. Hasn't been there herself. Who has then? You said you haven't been there yourself. Who has, if not you? My husband used to drink there. Him and his drinking buddies. Always seemed like a bad place to drink to me. People died there during the landing, you know. My mother told me. This must be one of the many fortifications that was used in the dying days of the revolution against coalition forces before they took this city. The kids sometimes go there too. I know they do, on rafts. I tell them not to, but they bring back old bullet casings and such. Which kids? The twins. Oh. God forbid they bring the girl along on some rickety barge. We just got a new task to ask Lillian's twins about the island. Let's ask, is there anything I should know about getting there? Well, most of it's sunken. Underwater. That means concrete underwater. Cut your boat if you're not careful. Be sure to enter from the south side. Water's deep there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask her if we can borrow her boat. I guess that's our only choice anyway. I'm hoping it doesn't immediately have us then go to the island. If you promise to bring it back. And no scraping the hull. I just got it nice and yellow. And no drinking on the boat. And no joyriding either. Yeah, we'll nod along. The crow's feet disappear from the corners of her eyes as she smiles at you. Thank you. I'll use your skiff to get there then. Please be conservative with the fuel, will you? Just filled her up, but it's a small tank. Okay. Thanks, Ilian. Be seeing you. So now I'm sure we can get out there, but we obviously need to go talk to the twins and maybe the little girl and I suppose the drunks. Hey, no running. No running. Jeez, man. Let's talk to the twins. Here they are. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Okay, kids, you've been to that island, right? On that island. The one who's busy kicking his stone points to the bay. Yes, that one. I need to know what's there. That's, um, nothing. It's just a sea fort and some plants. You can take a raft there. It's great. And, and we make a fire. We make a, we make a fire. Wow, these kids are really young, at least by their voices. Mm-hmm. Gather the sticks for the fire and bullets. Or oh, not real bullets, empty bullets. Oh, so they play with bullet casings. That's great. Bullet shells. There are a lot of them left over from the war, but this could be important. Could it? Wait, you mean shells? I don't know what those are. What then? There are lights. The fire guy comes and asks us to put the fire out. Oh, the sniper, huh? Your nerve endings sting from the mention of a guy. Wow. They must mean a human being on that island, but it's cut off. Someone lives on the island? No. Yes. <laughs> Why is he the fire guy? Because, because, because he asks to put the fire out. Well, why does he ask you to put the fire out? Um, I don't know. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like people to be there. You shouldn't go. Oh, I hope we don't get Kuno killed on this island. Yes. You mentioned something about lights? I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know if you did? Okay. Is there anything else you can tell me about this guy? Age? Does he live there? No, he doesn't live there. I don't think. No, he lives there. Been there twice, two times. Uh, he doesn't live there. He isn't there sometimes. Anything else? What does he look like? I don't know. How come? We, we ran. He just yelled, we shouldn't be there. Yeah, that makes sense. Your father used to go to that island too, didn't he? Our father killed himself. Oh, how nice. Didn't say that, he didn't. His brother punches him. The boy's eyes well up like he's about to start crying. I'm not going to say anything. I'm sorry. Oh, he, that's cute. Is that all you know? Is there anything more you can tell me about the island? There's a... That's it. He has, he has nothing left. Okay, bye kids. Take care. We finished the task that we just got from Lillian to ask her boys about the island. And let's talk to little Lily. 
Uh, mister, what were you doing in my fireplace? There was a phasmid in it. I was trying to catch it. Oh. Okay. Nice. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Let's go talk to the drunk people. So let's go see... We have to go to the church anyway. Oh, can we fast travel from here? Oh, uh, we can. Okay, let's go to the church. Forget Tron. Okay, let's go see if the... The Nautic Dance Music people have anything going on. Oh, hey man! It's good to see you! Oh, look at this. We got shot in the hip, so we lose one. We're gonna do this. We're gonna try. No words. Just dance. We Keep damaged them around. Close your eyes and dream of the shapes your body should form to bring this strange music into life. For now, such ferocity of motion is beyond you. Not surprisingly. But just imagine the moves you could pull to this futuristic beat. Well, imagine's all we can do, Limbic System. Your aching leg doesn't oh, want you boy. to imagine anything. However, it just wants to lie down and rest. That's it for now. Goodbye, officer. So we took both a point of morale and a point of health damage. It would be ironic if I bypassed the freak saying, oh, we have plenty, and then I blew it all as we wandered around here. Cell, what's up? Welcome back. I got shot in the leg. Ouch. I did notice you limping, but I thought maybe it was your thing or something. <laughs> okay, like we were just being cool? When I was 16, I used to date this guy who had a limp, but it only showed when he was sober. So I guess it wasn't real or something. I don't know. That's funny. Anyway, shot in the leg. I'm sorry. Man, that must suck. Yeah, it does. Actually, that's it for now. We might, we might do empathy. Yo, man, what's on your mind? Oh, take care, Noid. All right, Suna. Yes. What is it? Nope, nothing. Right, I'll let you work in peace. And then, uh, what's his bucket? I don't remember his name. Good morning, Egghead. comrade. Right. Yeah, hard to call. All right, nothing. All right, goodbye, Egghead. And we we uh, can't do anything with Dolores Day. You know what? Let's do it. Let's drop a point into Empathy. We've still got our uh, Parolodon working. So let's drop a point into Empathy. Oh, no, we maxed out Empathy. That's right. That was our last shot. We can't do anything. Well, that's been decided for us. Let's move on. Is there anybody else we can talk to? Let me think for a second while we meander towards the door. Unless we want to go talk to Trant, I think that's it. Which means we should just... Should we go talk to Trant? We are right here. No, you know what? I'm just fundamentally too lazy. Let's go back to the fishing village. Oops. Let's go back to the fishing village. I should do it. I should do it, huh? But I'm not going to. Because I'm lame like that. Okay, so is her skiff over here? Or is it closer to the shore where we wrecked our car? Oh no, there it is. Okay, well here we are. And this is a... Oh look, there's like a fishing... Oh, it's a bell. Anyway, okay, so here we are. I'm going to leave it here. Next time we're going to jump in this skiff. And then we're going to head out to the island. For what I assume is the end game. Where we're going to join up with Pig and Training Kuno. Until then... Thank you so much for your viewership and support. I love you very much. Please remember to have your pets spayed or neutered.